but this bricklayer has to be one of the worst bricklayers I've ever seen. Look at this. Oh my god. See how the wall just bows in? Look at that. Here in Burwood, doing a post handover of inspection for the back unit right there. There's three units here. The other two units are going to call the scene as well because they have some water ingress issues. The building surveyor has issued a notice to rectify some of the items that we have already identified before even looking at, looking at his paperwork. Now, I'm going to show the paperwork later, but uh, have a look at this builder, what he's done. And also, you can see the fake rain heads right there non-compliant rain heads we have the roof plumbing certificate so we know who the roofer is so he's going to get a call from dam buster because this product is protected by a patent now these guys have copied it and said yep it complies they ticked the performance solution box which is uh i didn't see a performance solution they just ticked the box unfortunately you don't have to provide any proof that you have a performance solution just tick the box which is a problem in our industry so let's take a look and see how these guys have done. Let's go. So as you can see, double story home, brick for here. Full of styrene cladding upstairs. You can see the copper dam buster. Let's go and have a look. But this is the home right now. We've got double story home, brick for here. Downstairs, polystyrene cladding upstairs, non compliant rain heads. They've ticked the box where it states that they've got a performance solution. I'd love to see it, but I think they have one. Tiled roof, and then you have on the lower roof, color bond roofing. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that as you go in, check out the step. Let's measure the step. What it is. We've got around 230 mil. 240, 230. Have a look at that. Non compliant. I'm going to leave an extract from the National Construction Codes right there so you can see the breach of this code. Let's keep going. What I'd like to do first is get a bird's eye view of what we're dealing with in terms of this uh, development because, as you can see, there's no scaffolding, it's a tiled roof, double story. I can get on those two lower roofs easy no problem ninja style but uh, the upper roof i want to see what's going on let's go set this baby up this is my favorite toy at the moment it's got a thermal camera all systems are go it is ready for takeoff um so let's go pretty loud but this is crazy let's go let's basically turn it around move forward camera and see what we're dealing with now move it forward a bit so I can get a good view of what's going on. Here you go, the magpies are coming to attack it. Annoying magpies, look at that. Trying to attack it. All the birds coming to attack the drone. Check it out, birds everywhere, going crazy. Three magpies there. You want to try to attack it? We've got birds attacking it. I want to make sure the coast is clear. Let's maintain this territory. I'm not moving, mate. Maintain it. Maintain it. Let's 
just maintain this area. They're trying to attack it. The canaries right there. The magpies have gone. No more birds. Let's check out the cam. If there's any birds around, no. Looks all clear. Let's start the inspection. So I have scanned the tile roof completely to see if there's any cracked tiles. I couldn't see anything, which is really good. Um, the lower roof is going to be checked manually because it is a flat roof, easy to access. So let's go. I think I'm done. As you can see here, I copied Rainhead that apparently has a performance solution. I would like to see that paperwork, but it is nowhere to be seen. This naughty little roof plumber. Take a look at this box cutter right here. Can anybody guess what is wrong with this box cutter? Have a look. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Take a look at this. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Yep. The box cutter is non-compliant. HP39 specifies 75 mil at the high end and AS8500.3 for a 300 mil gutter. Three, oh yeah, 300 mil. Have a look where it is, one sec. It's around uh, 280, should be around, my guess. I'm gonna leave um, the graph on the screen for you guys to have a look. Should be around uh, 92 mil, I think, or 96 mil. However, it doesn't meet that. It is around, it's under 75, it's around 55 mil. I did manage to get the tape measure in. Now, a couple of defects here we have is that the sarking doesn't enter the box cutter. The height of the box cutter at the high end is non-compliant. I'm gonna leave an extract for you guys there as well um, on the screen. We'll zoom in a bit, have a look. It's 55 mil, non-compliant to HP 39, 2015 and AS. 3500.3 and I'll put the graph right there that I've plotted and you can have a look it's 96 mil for a 300 mil uh, box cutter width um, some people might argue otherwise but here's the graph and the extract for your information and also the box cutter how how it's how it ends the upstand is non-compliant as well I'm gonna put a picture as well from HB 39 for you guys to see how it should look like. You see the condensation drain is non-compliant as well. It must discharge straight to the drainage point. Check out the roof set up here. We have a box cutter. So the roof sheets discharge on this box cutter and then discharges out, which is good. And then this is where the problem is. <coughs> we have a box cutter discharging into a sump. No problem. And then we have, uh, I think we got two falls, one to this sump and one to this sump. Okay. And then we have another fall here to this sump. And can anybody notice what is wrong here with this setup? No overflow. A sump must have an overflow duct or a high capacity overflow device unless this guy has a performance solution with this roof design see right there the spreader how it's spreading water in the direction of flow this is correct into a box cutter which discharges straight into 
a non-compliant rainhead. Uh, I'm going to leave an extract on the screen for you to see how the rainhead should have been installed according to AS3500.3 and HB39 2015. And also the VBA has a technical note about that issue as well. So the other breach is that the box cutters are not sealed to the rain heads. You can see right here. Have a look at that. So they've siliconed the top, but not underneath the box cutter. Also, this roof sheet as well, inadequate turn downs. This one has zero turn down. This one has around, let's use my little ruler. This has around 10 mil turn down. Not good at all. Also, the flashing is not fixed and sealed like this here. So let's go for a walk and see how this home is. Hmm, okay. Let's keep going. See the whip holes, they finish flush with the landscaping right there. Oh, take a look at this section right here. There is no veranda, no carport, no covering to protect the whip holes from water ingress. You can have them flush like this. The NCC does allow that. And I'll leave the claws right here for you guys to see. Um, it can be flush, but there has to be protection. Now, this is obviously non-compliant. And the homeowner did not do this. This is the actual builder. And it is a defect that needs to be rectified. going not good we have a storm water drainage pipe so the ncc and as3500.3 do state that the plastic drainage pipes oh i think there's a crack in here oh, no. join must have a cover under the dirt of 100 mil now i'm going to put an extract from the ncc here and as3500 not sure why plumbers don't know that. Let's go take some levels and see how the brickwork is. I want you to look at this brick right here. And it just goes boop, down, keeps going straight, then back up. Now, would you take a look at that? Put my level now. The bigger level, 1.2 meter level. You can see how the wall comes out. Let's check the other side now as well. Push it, push it here like this. You can see how we go. You can see how it starts coming out as well. Nine mil, wow. This bricklayer has to be one of the worst bricklayers I've ever seen. Look at this. Oh my god. See how the wall just bows in? Look at that. Have a look at this. I'm hard up against this wall. And then it comes up. So it comes up to around. What have we got here? Around 12 and a half mil, as you can see. For this wall that bows in, they had those tiles right here. Of course, because someone's being sneaky. 
to, they tried to square it up, but do you know why they couldn't? Let's dig around this area and have a look at the reason why. I'm gonna do it by hand. Surprise, surprise. I hope there's no spiders. Let's keep removing this and see what's going on. So, this brick right here. Look at this wall. Check out this wall. And now, let's take a look at the overhang. I mean, I'm about to find out what it is right now. It is around 40, 43 mil. So over 40 mil overhang. Let's take a little look about, look, about this. Let's put a little light there. Um, I'll take this out. I'll dig a bit more so you can see better. Yep, check out that brick overhang. Wow. Oh, like this could have been avoided by contacting the engineer or just have a look at the engineering plan. It normally states a rectification method. I'm gonna put a diagram right there from a previous job where the engineer states how they want a brick overhang to be rectified. It is so easy to rectify it, and yet these guys just chuck in the landscaping to cover it. I am simply flabbergasted. Regarding this wall, I mean the bricklayer needs to listen to this. Looks like someone has to go back to trade school. Check out the paintwork as well. Brand new home. I wonder who did the painting here. Yep, enjoy the 4K view of this beautiful paintwork. Don't mind the cracks, they're feature cracks, those cracks. You know, the homeowner wanted those cracks, he really likes them. Mona is moving in and they have given me all the paperwork to have a look at. So we have the roofing certificate here that says, you know, this guy's done the roofing, rain head and down pipes. The certificate is there and we're going to have a bit of fun with this one actually. So it looks like there's no performance solution for the non-compliant works that we saw outside. And those rain heads have no performance solution as well. So it is in breach of the patent from dambuster.com.au. Unbelievable. These are the building surveyor's direction to fix. These items for the builder and the builder's nowhere to be seen. Upstairs and have a look what's up here. Nice and empty. Let's start digging. There's one, two, three bedrooms and one bathroom right there. We've actually flood tested the shower. Put some water in it. And the uh, water is coming out, as you can see right there. Right there. We just have to wait and see what happens. However, as you can see the door stop. The water stop too. This area is not compliant. Take a look. You can 
can see how it's not completely sealed. I'm on the roof area now. It's pretty hard to go in, but I'm gonna try to go in shortly. But I was just looking around, checking the basic things like the bracing. It's not even tied, look at that. Right there. This is a tall roof, heavy load. Not even strapped. The most basic of the most basic, not even installed. Really hard to move in here, but it's worth it because look what I found. The bracing is also non compliant. I'm not sure how uh, the building surveyor passed this, unless they've cut it later. Look at this one nail, non compliant. So it should be three nails to the face. They've only got one here. Look at that. Oh my god. Let's see. I want to see if there's two nails on the top. Because there should be two nails on the top. Oh, yeah, there is two nails right there. Only one to the face. And here, there's nothing. It's just hanging around. This is um this is a serious matter that has to be rectified ASAP. This is the other unit. <laughs> Check out the spreader. Look at this spreader right there, tucked in nicely. Wow. The homeowners don't know that they have a non-compliant build. Let's have a look at the front. Let's take a look at the front here. They've got cameras, but we can have a look from the street what's going on. Non-compliant rain head right there. Let's keep going. Damn Buster rain heads everywhere. Look at that. Wow. Let's see what else is going on here. From the street. From the street. From the street. Oh, can't see anything anymore. But yeah. Hopefully those two people can get us in as well and uh, make a nice report. Really excited to see how the roofing is here, how the brickwork is. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. How can a building surveyor issue an OC permit? Look at this. Let me zoom in. How can he issue? And that gas pipe is just showing like this. Oh my god, I'm going to put an extract as well for you guys right there on the screen for the breach of the Australian standards. Of course, no pressure limiting valve installed. Most likely it's more than 500 kPa. Owners are pretty upset with the whole process with um, the defects getting fixed. The builder's not coming back. Apparently he may come back today. Not sure why, but there's a lot of things to fix here. Let's see if he fixes everything and I will keep you guys posted. Let's go. And thanks a lot for watching. If you really liked this video, it will help me a lot. If you guys can subscribe for free. Thank you very much.